guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. You were a former actor, Paul. Today is Monday, June 5th, and it's currently 12.24, and yes, it's early because I'm off today with CPA. Um, and I have Saint and Milano here, and this is one of their matching onesies. Seven has the last, third, final matching onesie, but... Someone wanted me to take photos of him without the onesie on, and I just never put it back on. Anyways, so this video, you guys are just going to be seeing them. I'm not going to be changing them. I just changed them two days ago, two and three days ago. So I'm not going to be changing them in this video. I'm letting you guys know that now before I get five, ten minutes in and you guys are like, what the heck. Um, if you guys want to continue to watch it, you can. If you guys want to click out, that's fine. If you guys want to do chores that is also really good because I do that sometimes as well so I wanted to let you guys know that before I get started so um I'm gonna try to say this in the most nicest way possible because I really am a genuine person I'm nice and to a certain extent until you push me if you bother me I'll bother you back if you pick with me I'll pick with you back if you say something rude to me I'll say something even ruder back to you that's just how I am I'm not gonna let anyone try to pick me apart or be rude to me and think that they're going to get away with it or basically try to bully me belittle me anything like that i'm not going for it i'm grown i'm not a child you shouldn't be doing that to children either so and this is a message to facebook this is a message to all of you ladies out there in the facebook groups who didn't have fun in high school and so you guys are bullying and mean in this hobby and in this community you guys decide who's in who's out i don't even care about that stuff but we have to talk about the people on facebook in these facebook groups not only are you guys rude you guys act like know-it-alls you guys state unwanted opinions you guys act like your collection and the babies you paint are like the highest almighty like yes please let me get a baby your work is this your work is that and i'm here to tell you it is not i am here to break your little bubble that you're in i'm here to let you know that that's not how it's going to go so a little backstory about me hi i'm maya i've been in this community since 2013 I don't say it often because who cares but it's these people who just joined the community and during the pandemic in 2019 2020 that just think they're running the show sorry to let you know no one's running the show no one is queen bee around here sorry that you didn't get a chance to experience that in high school that's not our problem that's not our fault don't take that out on us so every time it's just something about facebook that i just don't like I think I'm a little dumb because I didn't even know there were Facebook groups. Maybe I did. I just didn't care to join. Um, however, a good friend suggested, you know, I know you want some suggestions on how to get your baby. So I recommend joining groups on Facebook. I was like, oh, you're smart. That's a good idea. I should do that. No, I shouldn't have. Um, but I joined a few Facebook groups. I love seeing all the babies in there and if it honestly wasn't for one particular facebook group i wouldn't have this sweet boy right here so maybe i guess it is a good thing i decided to join we'll do another little background about me i don't do social media for my dads yes i have an instagram that i sometimes barely hardly post on and i have a youtube channel that i am dedicated to and that i love posting on me personally my own personal life i have an instagram ask me the last time i post on it I last posted on my Instagram in the ninth grade. I archived all of my photos in the ninth grade. I don't post on my Instagram. I don't post on my Instagram story. I have a Facebook. I had a Facebook for like 10, 12 years now. Don't post on there. I stopped posting on there. I don't even think I ever posted on Facebook. I don't post on there. I don't do social media. Snapchat. I posted on Snapchat very frequently back in middle school and even high school but up until like 11th grade i stopped posting on snapchat i'm not a social media person uh, i feel like people put on this fake persona for social media i don't do that people act like they're nicer loyal honest on social media and it's just it's just not me people like to put on a facade for the internet 
people like to act like they're better than people on the internet. People just act like a totally different person on the internet. I've just never been for it. Yes, I enjoy scrolling on social media. However, I don't post anything on any social media. Let me bring it back to Facebook again. Again, my Facebook is all private. My friends do tag me in little memes and stuff here and there. I react to them, blah, blah. As far as me actually posting a status or sharing something, I don't do that. I had a profile picture in, again, the ninth grade. I took that down. I was so ugly. I looked a mess and it was not cute. I took it off. I never put another one back on there. I don't take pictures. So I just never put another one back on there. And I guess since I don't have a Facebook picture, it automatically makes me a scammer. So uh, yesterday, I had a lovely Sunday. I went out to breakfast or really brunch with my sister and my dad. It was so nice. We went to watch Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I've never saw the first or the second one. We tend to do that a lot. Like we went to watch Doctor Strange last year. I had no clue who Doctor Strange was. <laughs> was it last year? It was ever. It was whenever Doctor Strange came out. We went to watch that. I had no clue who Doctor Strange was, but we tend to do that a lot. Like we don't have any background. Never saw any of the other movies and we just go watch them. But I think I did watch a little bit of Guardians of the Galaxy in 10th grade, but I wasn't really paying attention and we obviously didn't get a chance to finish it because it's a 55 minute class and we only watched like 20 minutes of it so I technically didn't see it. Anyways, I had a lovely Sunday and I don't post in the Facebook groups. I only post it in there a handful of times, like less than 10 times. And then there was another situation that had happened where people were just like, oh my gosh, you're selling this baby for that. It's not worth it. Like, I'm not an art. I'm not the artist. I'm selling a baby for how much I pay. So you telling me this don't got nothing to do with me. Go speak to the artist about the price. So that had happened. I was like, I'm done. I'm taking the babies off. I'm not posting them again. So I, I haven't made a post since then. I made one post in one group since then. Um, but it's like a really smaller group. So I was okay with that. Um, so I was just like, I told myself, I'll just comment under people's posts when they're inquiring about a DAO. And so someone was asking for an African-American DAO with curly hair. So I was like, okay, I'll comment the DAO I have. And then I remember, because the safety photo I have is old. It's from like March. But then I remember someone a few days ago just asked me for a safety photo I had did once. So I was like, oh, actually, I do have a safety photo. So I reply to my comment with the safety photo and the original poster was like oh she's beautiful blah blah I was like yeah and i figured she wasn't interested so i was eventually going to delete my comment i don't leave my comments up for too long in any of the groups i don't leave my post up for too long in any of the groups the post when i do decide to post which is never but i don't leave my comments and i don't even comment but when i do comment under the inquirer post i don't leave them up for no longer than like a day or two because i don't even want my name attached to these groups <laughs> and so i don't know i have that it's weird about me like i'll if i comment under the post i'll save it and then like a couple days later i'll go back to my save and i'll delete my comment i don't know why i do that like i said i don't even post on social media so maybe that's why but i don't like there being a trace of me anywhere anyway so i commented that the lady said she's beautiful i could tell she was interested so i was going to delete it it was like four hours after i posted that someone decides to call me a scammer they're like she's a scammer ignore her i was like what a scammer me i sold half of the babies in my collection i've never got one complaint i have a pristine reputation and y'all might say it's not a big deal um don't let them get to you that means nothing to y'all. That's y'all. For me, I don't want to be called a scammer. I don't want to be called untrustworthy. I don't want to be called dishonest. All of those are negative words. I consider them negative and I don't want them being a reflection of me. I don't want to be called any of that. I don't want to be called rude, mean, nasty, anything. <laughs> anything that's negative, I don't want to be called that. If you want to be called that, that's fine that's you we all are different i don't want to be called anything like that i've never been called that before i don't want to be called it so i was so confused i was just having a good time on twitch watching people stream playing video games because that's just that's just what i do on a sunday i relax and i unwind and i just watch my favorite streamers stream on twitch 
having a good old Sunday, being the young person I am. But then we had someone who knows nothing. So they accused me of being a scammer because they said that I don't have a profile picture. And then they also said because the post clearly states that they are looking for an African-American guy with curly hair in mine, it's clearly a Caucasian guy with curly hair. Okay, so we'll go back to the profile picture. Me having a profile picture automatically makes me a scammer. You don't know what, I could have not had a profile picture because maybe I have someone that I don't want to find out I have a Facebook. Maybe I'm insecure on how I look. Maybe I hate myself. Like there's many reasons why to someone could not have a profile picture. And let me also say this. She's a hypocrite because her profile picture was of an animated cat. So that's technically, it's a profile picture, but it's not of you. So you're a scammer because you don't have one. No, you're not. You're not a scammer at all. Everyone knows all the scammers have a fake page that they're either trying to be someone that's super extremely popular um, or a prototype artist or just have a really nice baby. Everyone knows that that's what scammers do. They target bigger people, which obviously you will be able to tell that they are a scammer because you're putting this picture of a prototype baby and you're acting like them. Like there's a lot of fake profiles of Joanna K. I'm just using her as an example. And you can tell that they're a scammer. There has not been any scammers without a profile picture. None. You can't think of one person that was scammed without a profile picture because that would be an idiotic thing to do. If you want to scam, make it believable. And most people do try to make it believable, even if it's not. They try their best to make sure that their page doesn't look like a scammer. So I really thought that it was because of my name. My name is unique. Sorry, my mom decided to name me this. Sorry, my mom didn't give me a boring name like maybe something like Shells or Joe or something like that. Just to throw names out there. My mom didn't give me a boring name or a plain name like that. I'm not trying to tag anybody with those names. That's just the first thing that came to my mind. Those were just names that came to me. Sorry, my mom gave me a cute name and yours did it. So sorry. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Get a name change. I'm not. I love my name. So that's what I thought it was. I thought it was maybe just my name. You know, they don't like seeing unique names. They want my name to be Billy Joe Bob. They want my name to be Bonnie or somebody. That's that's not me. You can't be named nothing unique nowadays because people see your name, they're like, oh, you're ghetto. Oh, you're this. Oh, you're that. Oh, you're a scammer. Because my name isn't Amanda. And I'm sorry to any Amandas out there. <laughs> I have a cousin Amanda. She's so sweet. There's a lot of sweet Amandas. I'm sorry. But that's what they want you to be named. They want you to have a basic name in the groups. They want you to look a certain way in the groups. They want you to have this. They want you to have that. That's I'm not going to portray myself as something I'm not. I'm not going to add a profile picture because you guys want me to add a profile picture. I just don't take pictures. I don't. If you guys want to see a picture of me, hold on. I have one in my phone somewhere. Like, my lock screen isn't even a picture of me. But if you guys want a picture, hold on. Give me a second. I'll probably cut this down a little bit. Um. Oh, so while I look for a picture, because my phone is going so slow, they said that the post says African-American with curly hair. Mine is Caucasian. First of all, my baby was biracial. She's not Caucasian and she doesn't look Caucasian in the picture either. So maybe someone needs glasses, hourglasses. They're not bad at all. Glasses are great. So maybe you need glasses or something, but the baby was biracial, not Caucasian. And back to that, every day in the group, someone's like, I'm looking for a black baby. There was 50 comments, about 10 of them are black babies and about the other 40 are Caucasian babies or Asian babies or something that's not black. No one ever goes in the comments saying, oh, you know, she's asking for this and you're giving her that. And let's not even do that one. Let's do when people say, oh, I'm looking for an open eye baby and everyone comments closed eye babies. No one says a thing. Let's go to someone saying, oh, I'm looking for a toddler and everyone's commenting newborns or oh, I'm looking for silicone, people are commenting vinyls. You know, so even if my baby was Caucasian, it could have been a misread thing, which it wasn't because my baby was biracial, but it could have been a misread thing where I didn't read it and I just saw she was looking for a baby with curly hair. 
that happens all the time not to me because i know how to read unlike some people that don't and ask the same questions over and over or give someone what they're not looking for and also what about the people who's like oh i have a very tight budget my budget is 500 dollars, and people go out of there and they don't comment anything 550 600 dollars they go and comment something a thousand dollars so a lot of them don't read and they don't care however i do anyways if you guys want to see me so bad this is me hi me and my glasses my phone is my screen protector is crap. But yeah, very pretty, whatever. Who cares? If you guys think I'm ugly, I don't care. Anyways, <laughs> I just have to just get at people's heads who decide that they want to go and try to bully people in the Facebook group because maybe they didn't have fun in middle school, high school. I don't know what issues they have going on besides from this. But I'm here to let you guys know and remind you guys that these are DAOs. There's no need to get worked up over DAOs. There's no need to give yourself a heart attack because you guys are like 80 years old trying to start drama and bully people over DAOs. Like, there's no need for that. And yes, I love my DAOs. I love, 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 love my DAOs. But honestly, if I wanted to have a kid, I would. Like, I'm young. I'm able to do that if I wanted to. But I don't. If I wanted to have a kid, again, I would have had one. If I still do want to have a kid, I can have one. I could be, y'all could see me pop out with a baby next year. If I wanted to do that, I'm young, I can do that. However, I don't want to. I like playing with the dolls because I like the dolls. I like the babies. I'm mean, you guys need a reality check. And I've been trying to hold my tongue for the longest because, again, I don't like being rude. But one thing i'm not going to do is have people talk to me any kind of way and then if i say something back they're like oh my gosh you're a bully oh my gosh you're mean you guys just said the same thing to me so why can't i say it back to you i see that happen all the time on my channel with me people will comment unnecessarily rude things and then when i comment i get called the bully or when i comment back oh it's crickets there's nothing else left for you to say exactly so keep it that way your opinion is unwanted it is not needed no one is asking for your opinion on the dials no one is asking for your opinion on anything however you do have an opinion you do have the right to express yourself if you want to but there will be consequences and if you come to my page or come to me talking crazy then that's just to be the end of that because another little backstory i got the funniest class award so if you want to be funny i can be funny right back yeah they actually did get <laughs> All jokes aside, they actually did give me an award. Um, I think I got it twice, two years in a row. They gave me the funniest person award. So yeah, they actually did give me that award and I do still have it. <laughs> it was just a piece of paper just saying like the funniest person or the class clown or whatever. And they gave it to me and I actually do still have that paper somewhere. So um, that actually wasn't a joke. That was serious. But anyways, I just feel like if you want to be funny, just be prepared to have someone be funny back to you. So anyways, now that I am done ranting, Hopefully you guys are still here. If you're not, that's fine. You probably could have saw the video after three minutes. But I just thought that needed to be said because this isn't the first incident that I had on Facebook. Like, okay, and you maybe need to take a new one because yours is from 2015 and it looks a mess. So I guess we both have things that we don't like about each other. You don't like that I have a profile picture and I don't like how you look in yours. Anyways, I will now read the messages between us. And I missed out on a part of the stream trying to defend my name. Like, now I have to rewatch it. So thanks a lot, lady. <laughs> Anyways, so I commented a baby and then I had just a picture of the baby. Then I replied back with a picture of, sorry, I replied back with a picture of the safety photo. The lady was like, she's so beautiful. And then the lady's like, that's a scammer. Ignore that person. I said, excuse me, I am most certainly not a scammer. My Instagram is my underscore rewards and my YouTube is my rewards. Don't go around calling people scammers. I have no reason to scam. I've been in this community since 2013 and sold plenty of babies. Stop calling people scammers with no proof. And then in that second message, I had to hurry up and find a piece of paper to write my name on it with the date and take a picture of the baby and post it under there. And then they were like, no profile pic, question mark, exclamation mark. Clearly states she is looking for an African-American baby. Yours is white with curly hair. I said I have no profile picture because I deleted it a long time ago. That doesn't make me a scammer. This baby's is not white. None of those make me a scammer. Then I did a video just for her 
where I said her name and I said the baby is biracial, the baby is not white, this is my baby. I've been in the community since 2013 and I've sold plenty of babies and where they can check out my Instagram and my YouTube if they wanted more information. And while you're here, check me out on Instagram, my underscore reborns, and subscribe to my YouTube, my reborns. And then they were like, I'll delete it. So you were just big and bad two minutes ago, and then now with I'll delete it. No, you shouldn't have come to that in the first place. I've never got caught a scammer, not once ever since I've been in the community since 2013. I've never ever got caught a scammer. Every single person that had purchased a baby from me loved their baby. Even if they lied and said they did and they didn't. <laughs> but I got all positive feedback from everybody I sold a baby to. I once had never, ever thought about scamming somebody. Sorry, unlike you, I was raised right. I have morals. I don't need to scam $200 out of these dollars or $500, however much the dollars cost. I don't need to do that. That's what a job is for. So then I said, for future references, don't go around calling people scammers just to call them scammers. Have proof or don't say anything at all. This type of stuff ruins people's reputations and I have a clean one and would like to keep it that way. Have a nice night. Bye. So that's how the conversation went. Um, it went very quickly because you don't go around calling people scammers just because they're not in your clique, just because you never heard of them before, just because they have a different unique name than you. You don't go around calling people scammers. The doll that I have is very uniquely made. You've never seen a doll that look like that. Ever. Like, second of all, the doll is not high quality. No offense. It's the truth. The doll isn't high quality where anyone would take that picture and scam anyways. And the picture itself wasn't good at all. The picture itself was made on this wall right over here. Like, I just wish people would stop and think sometimes before just saying or typing. Just think, 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 think. That's why they gave us a brain so we can think and use it. It's just a lot of people hide behind their phones and the internet and social media to say and do everything they want under the sun and think there won't be any repercussions because nine times out of ten, they won't say any of that to anyone's face. And I'm going to use an example. Me, my personal self, I hate when people litter. I hate litters i can't stand it there's always trashes throw your stuff away i hate when people litter if anyone litters around me i literally make them pick it up and throw it in the trash but let's just use this as an example say if this person who's just commented all of that is acting big and bad for social media say we were next to each other i'm walking and i litter and they hate people that litter i bet you they won't say anything to me at all they will look at me and they will keep walking and i will look at them and i will keep walking that's just goes to show you that like i said earlier people put on this fake just this fakeness for social media don't try to act big and bad on social media and act like a mean girl if you're not acting like that in real life don't try to act like a sweet girl on the internet if you don't act like that in real life just be yourself be yourself Anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up because I'm not spending my day off talking about this all day every day. I just had to get out because these people on Facebook, I'm sorry, they are annoying. I thought I was annoying, but they are a whole nother level. A whole nother level. Yeah, I'm not even going to do the outro. This is the first video ever that I don't do the outro. But I do want to say subscribe. Alright, hopefully my next videos, I am in a better mood and um, I usually am in a better mood for the most part. <laughs> on my channel i don't try to bring negativity here um even though everyone always try to start with me like people just comment the most unnecessary stuff like under oh i don't know if i should say because the comment is still there but under a video someone's like oh that box you're okay with that they just threw the clothes in there this and that oh my gosh girl it's not your doubt. Who cares how the box came? Did you buy the baby? No, you didn't. So if the clothes is in there a certain way, the clothes are in there a certain way. There's nothing you or I can do about it. Like the video was a month, two months old and you're commenting on it. Oh my gosh, why is it like this? Oh my goodness. If you like it, then okay, it's fine. Like did I once express that I didn't like it? Like, hello? It's just little stuff like that that gets to me. Okay, I'm done. Seriously. All right, subscribe. Bye guys. Thank you.